tribal state relations training is an opportunity for the tribes and the University of Minnesota Duluth to share with state employees how they are to interact with tribal governments and how that reflects on their daily jobs. There are 11 tribal sovereign nations in Minnesota. They have the right to govern themselves, to govern their lands and their boundaries, uh, businesses, taxes. So they have all of the rights and the responsibilities of any government. I worked with one district engineer who said we didn't understand how to work with the tribes and so we just didn't. So work that was supposed to be done was left undone. The complexity is you have to have the state and the, and the tribe as a sovereign and its local governing bodies working together to protect the health and welfare of all of Minnesota. Without that, you're going to continue to have controversy and conflict, which is going to cost everybody money, resources, and unfortunately, lives. With the Tribal State Relations Training, day one is more the legal structure. It's taught by a professor of Indian Studies. And the second day is introduction to the tribes, how they do business, and meeting tribal community members. I essentially uh, give the big historical overview uh, during the training. So I take people through about 500 years of um, uh, from contact with the Europeans up to the, the modern age of tribal gaming and tribal self-determination. We mix a little bit of history with a little bit of personal stories and the, and the state employees kind of get that Wow, this is not just something off of the pages of history. This happened to people right here in Minnesota. Prior to this training, we weren't being heard unless we would get a big group together. I mean, then things would get done. And these trainings, we get to know people. So we get to actually know who you're talking to instead of a position. I've got cell phone numbers from some of the major people that make decisions as far as Indian policy and I appreciate that more than you can imagine. Instead of having to travel hours and have specific meetings, we can just give a call and get something started and then everybody's on the same page by the time we do come to a meeting. Our responsibility as a part of transportation is to construct and preserve the uh, state highway infrastructure, transportation infrastructure in the state of Minnesota in order to do that. On Indian reservations, we need to be aware of the uh, tribal laws and the preferences of the local communities. And I didn't have a good understanding of kind of what motivated them, their attitudes, the, the things that they desired, and also the kind of complex legal relationship that exists between the state government and, and Minnesota Indian tribes. The training helped me, you know, really develop a much broader background that gave me a lot more confidence that, in what I was doing. So far we've trained about 1,400 people. We have had uh, overflow classes. As soon as we open up the classes, they're filled. It's a class that people want to take and they want to learn and they understand the importance of it. The training team, um, which is several state agencies in MnDOT and University of Minnesota Duluth, purposefully move it around the state being hosted by tribes. The idea is that you, you've you got to be within Indian country to feel and understand Indian country. This is the second time that the training has come to Leech Lake here at Northern Lights in Walker, Minnesota, and it's a good cultural gesture to, to go to somebody's homeland and, and discuss with them what they would like to see and have that dialogue about the relationship building that needs to happen. And so this setting really allows um, people the access to come ask questions. We're avoiding conflicts ultimately. By creating understanding, we avoid misunderstanding. And out of misunderstanding, as an attorney I know, that ends up in court. And that's the last place you want to be. It's the worst place to settle things. The best place to settle things is sitting down and having a cup of coffee with the tribal leader, figuring it out. As we come together as Dakota Ojibwe nations to come to talk to the state, it's a collective voice and they appreciate us, we appreciate them, and everything gets done in a much smoother, correct manner, rather than angry feelings, hurt feelings. Things are done as a partnership. Yeah.